Now more than ever, it's really important to remember to just be kind to one another or maybe do something unexpected for someone you don't know. Jeff Van Sant brings us a story about a random act of kindness that brought two strangers together. In a turbulent world, there is still good. Two people. Ramon, an ASU senior. My wife and I both watch TV. And Tony. Let's see here. Who was nearly blind. We do watch movies too. So this is the box. There's a braille label right here. They have nothing in common. Finding Nemo from the library. But it seems um, fate brought them together. Maybe God put them in a purpose. Monday afternoon, Tony gets lost trying to find a connecting bus in Tempe. And he tried asking for help. A lot of people were on bikes. They had headphones on. And they had their phone. They're talking in their phone and just not even paying attention and I always walk through the stadium back to my uh, car every day and he was just wandering by himself two strangers as I approached him uh, he, he spoke out hey can you help me instead of pointing Tony in the right direction Ramon wanted to do more I can drop you off and he said thank you you know you're like the first person to actually help me two strangers are now buddies we're all supposed to help each other in this day and age, and unfortunately, a lot of people don't. Sometimes you have to stop and see where you're at in life, you know? Are you a kind person? Are you a mean person? It takes just one act of kindness. And maybe that's what his mission was today. Maybe he, he, was, maybe he was supposed to be the Good Samaritan to uh, help somebody. Sometimes you just got to light up the darkness. One little act that shows all of us there is love, there is kindness, and it takes these baby steps to make it happen. If I saw him again, I, you know, I'll just give him a hug and say, you know, I'm happy you're home. I'm happy I helped you. You know, now you know that there are people out there that do care for one another. For Arizona's family, I'm Jeff Van Sant.